And with the uh, number of Democrats running for president starting to dwindle, uh, some are wondering how fewer candidates will affect the primaries. This comes after New York Senator Kirsten Gillibrand announced that she was dropping out after her low poll numbers disqualified her from participating in the third debate. On America's Ryan Kraduski sat down with Trump 2020 Advisory Board, a member for his analysis on the matter. Take a look. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand dropped out of the race on Wednesday. Does that change the dynamic of the Democratic primary? I don't think it changes it at all. You have one less uh, obnoxious, um, pandering politician on stage. There's enough. You know, CNN just announced this week that they're going to have a seven-hour town hall with all the Democratic candidates. There's so much noise and so little substance that people are drowning it out. Yeah, so Senator Gillibrand joined Eric Slawell yeah. and uh, Hickenlooper as Democrats who are no longer running. Who do you think else will probably join that in the near future as far as dropping out goes? Yeah, I mean, I think that it's going to, I think the field is eventually going to distill itself down to Biden, Kamala Harris, uh, Bernie Sanders, and Elizabeth Warren. I mean, I think that those are the really, you know, the, the true contenders here. People like Castro, I mean, they're not long for this race. And I think that they're positioning themselves in the event that there's a Democrat Democratic administration for you know appointments within it. Well, that's what I, this is. They're all looking to unseat Joe Biden because he's been leading in yeah. the polls almost unanimously mm -hmm. for for about a year now. Yeah. How do they do that going into the third debate? Well, the, the problem I think for many of them that are trying to position themselves for positions in an administration is the longer they stay in, the more shots they take at all of their opponents in the race. It actually makes it harder, I think for them to get those shops. And so I think that they want to stay around long enough that they're relevant, that they get some play in the media, um, but that they haven't done themselves irreparable damage. And so I believe that's kind of why the field is as large as it is. And I think that that's why it will quickly ramp down, as we're already seeing. At the same time, Elizabeth Warren was giving a speech on 15,000 people, one of her rallies, Joe Biden forgot President Obama's name. Mm -hmm. Are these gaffes going to eventually hurt Joe Biden? Uh, I still contend that this is exactly what people expect with uh, former Vice President Biden. You know, he is able to get away with certain gaffes that other politicians wouldn't. Um, he's endeared himself for decades. Um, to, to, to many Democrats. And so I, I think what's more of a cause for concern for somebody like Joe Biden is that the party's really being full, pulled very far to the left. And the enthusiasm that surrounds Elizabeth Warren right now, I mean, it really seems to be reaching a fever pitch. And that's, that's playing out in the polls as well. Um, and, you know, if he is the eventual nominee, I, I think that we're quickly reaching the point where it's going to get very difficult to elect a president that believes in many of these ideas. Well, Harlan Health, thank you for speaking to One American News. Thank you, Ryan. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.